wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. Misla Silver continued with top drill results. As always, I have to say, further high-grade intercepts at Kopala have just been reported from 27 new holds targeting the Kopala resource area at the Panuco Silver Gold project in Mexico. The reported drilling aimed at infilling and extending the mineralization successfully confirmed the high-grade continuity at Kopala and extended the mineralization by approximately 100 meters down dip to the southeast. Highlights included 703 grams silver per ton, equivalent over 6 meters true, width equating to 487 grams silver and 3.7 grams gold per ton, including 1,327 grams silver equivalent over 2.26 meters. Another hole returned 332 grams silver equivalent over 13.6 meters true, width and 658 grams silver equivalent over 5 meters. Ongoing drilling on the high-grade Kopala structure continued to demonstrate exceptional mineral continuity, said Michael Collard, the president and CEO of the company. And he moved on. Since the release of the updated mineral resource estimated in January 2024, we have focused on the de-risking of Kopala through infill and geotechnical drilling with two drill rigs in advance of the project's first PEA. Today's results highlight that Kopala is a precious metal-dominated, very broad, near-surface structure with a great width profile that can support a potential mining scenario. We intend to continue infilling and expanding the Kopala main structure and its high-grade fold structures to develop Panuco into the world's next primary silver project, said Michael Connard. Here we are with the production scenario. I love it. Visla Silver is the first choice in the silver investment universe. Sibanya Stillwater finally moved forward with plant uranium mining. Greg Cochran has been appointed executive vice president and head of the uranium division, effective on 1st June 2024. He will be responsible for developing and driving strategies to realize and optimize the inherent value of the group's substantial uranium resources, as well as leveraging his tremendous experience and track record of value creation in the uranium industry to capitalize on the other opportunities as they arise. His extensive experience in the uranium industry spans more than 15 years, starting in 2006 when he joined Uranium One's South Australian team, leading the honeymoon mine through environmental approvals and overseeing the establishment of the joint venture between Mitsui and Uranium One Australia. Greg also led the due diligence team on Uranium One's $3.8 billion acquisition of Ur Asia in 2007, the largest uranium transaction in history, and was responsible for the integration and management of the Kazakh joint venture interests. Neil Froman, the CEO of Sibani Stillwater, welcomed Greg's appointment with, given the solid fundamentals currently underpinning the uranium market, we will be exploring various options to enhance the value of our existing 32 million pounds of uranium resources at the surface at the Cook tailing stem and the 27 million pounds of uranium resources at Beatrix 4. We are confident that Greg will realize this potential, said Neil Froman. At long last, we are finally starting to tap into the uranium treasure trove of Zimbabwe Stillwater. The share is a buy at this level. At the, and the uranium sector continues with another takeover. Premier American Uranium strengthens its leadership position in the industry with the acquisition of American Future Fuel and welcomes renowned uranium expert Colin Healy as CEO. The acquisition makes sense as it builds a new uranium champion in the US. Colin Healy holds a master's degree in business administration and is a mechanical engineer with over 20 years of experience most of which was spent as a mining research analyst with a recognized Canadian broker-dealer in uranium and other commodities. Tim Rotolo is now chairman of the board. Under the terms of the arrangement, shareholders of American Future Fuel will receive 0.17 common shares of Premier American Uranium for each um, AMPS share. The existing shareholders of PUR and AMPS will own approximately 64.2% and 35.8% respectively of the performer outstanding PUR shares upon completion of the arrangement. The implied equity value of the combined company is estimated to be approximately 129 million Canadian dollars. We welcome the acquisition. Copper has now established itself above the $4 per pound mark and Hennel Metals has discovered new thick types of high-grade copper from sedimentary rocks in Peru. Samples returned 5.8 meters of 3.1% copper and 65 grams per ton silver 
from Surface. This is located at San Martin West in the San Martin Project in northern Peru. Mineralization outcrops to Surface and has been mapped over a strike length of 2.3 kilometers. It is located in a new area 45 kilometers west of the recently approved drill permit area of Tabalosas East. Copper mineralization is locally high grade and consists predominantly of chalcosite. The surface outcrops are strongly leached, suggesting that higher grade copper mineralization may be present beneath the weathered surface outcrops. Michael Hudson, chairman and CEO, stated This is an exciting new discovery that shows continued thickness, more than 10 meters wide, zones of high-grade copper and silver mineralization over several kilometers of strike lengths. Copper mineralization of this type and extent was unknown until these recent discoveries at the San Martin project. This new discovery is located 45 kilometers west of the recently approved drill program at the DIA Tabalosas East. We look forward to advancing this new discovery with more detailed geological mapping and geochemical sampling as we prepare for the upcoming drill program at Tabalosas, he said. Heather Metals has big plans in Peru and great partners. The stock is worth buying. You can also find all the information on our Commodity TV app in German and English, as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like, and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The shares discussed are will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate, and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us, and bye-bye from Switzerland.